from their stubborn way. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he said, Because this people, because that this people has transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also would not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations, with uh, which Joshua left when he died. That through them I may prove Israel, whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein, as their fathers did keep it, or not. Therefore the Lord left those nations without driving them out hastily, neither delivered him them into the hand of Joshua. Right, so you had some actually nations that were still in there. You know, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I was going, to, or, or, uh, going over it earlier this week, you know. But you, uh, Mosad left some of those nations in there. Yep. And I remember, I think it was Ashdod, I believe. Uh, matter of fact, uh, brother had sent a text message about oh, one of the giants, and I actually uh, sent the reply to some of the places that, that they was uh, still left in. But, but anyways, you know, the most I would, you know, set us there to try us, just like you got the nations around here that's trying us again. And, you know, be faithful until, you know, the end, of, uh, until the end. You know, so, because we are a reward at the end. You don't get, uh, you don't get a reward at the beginning. As soon as you start, you know, competition, you know, you don't get a reward right at the beginning. You know, you it's, this, this thing is about enduring. You know, which is why I chose the name you call. You know, because because you call means to endure. And I know this is something that you got to do to the end. You got to actually be able to endure. You know, so uh, endurance, you know, because wh what what means anything if you, you know, you run a race and you're the first place for the first, you know, 2,000 miles and, and then afterwards, you know, you slack off and then everybody else that you was beating ends up getting past you and then you dead last. You know, so there, there's no reward in that. But but any, but anyways, uh, basically we gotta you know put in work by coming out here, and you know most high puts in work for us, you know and that's how he's gonna be our savior and our redeemer. This is how you know we're gonna trust in him because we know that. Uh, can you get uh, Second Chronicles? I think the 13th chapter and I think uh, like maybe verse 11. Chronicles 13. I don't know, Slaki. Second Corinthians chapter 13. But but. But uh, basically, you know, we, we put ourselves in a position, you know, to be able to say, you know, the most side, you know, coming out here week in and week out, <coughs> week, uh, coming here week in and week out, you know, because we're putting our trust and our faith, you know, so the most side's not going to let us down because we looked at other generations, the most side, you know, didn't have somebody uh, like Noah, you know, the uh, most side told uh, Noah to uh, build an ark, and then all of a sudden, you know, after the ark, you know, was built, and then he let them down. You know, right now we're spirit is building a spiritual ark. And so we, we have trust that the most high is going to have compassion to us that we're a part of the elect, the most high willing. Uh, first, second Corinthians uh, 13 and, el and 11. Now let me make sure this right now. Actually, verse 5. Okay. First, first, second, slot, second Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your your own selves. Know ye, know know ye not your own selves. How how that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you is expect ye be reprobate. Right. So you got to accept it. Accept ye be reprobate. Right, because it's easy. It's easy for you to think that you in this thing for the right reason, but you really not. You know, it's it's easy, you know, to think like you know what, uh, I, you know what, I know I'm the elect. I know I'm such and such in a reincarnation. You get that that arrogance in you, and then the Most High, you know, just can just spew you out, just allow you to, you know, allow those demons just take over your mind. Uh, Revelations chapter uh, 19. Where is just lamb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revelation 19 in 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 one. After this thing I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying uh, what's that? Uh, oh that's what? Hallelujah salvation in in glory and and honor and power unto the Lord Yahweh by Shimia our power 
they, they said our power. Uh, power is something that you trust in. Something that's, that you that you know for a fact that you know what uh, this this is what this is what's gonna save me. This is what I'm gonna put my uh trust in. Uh for for <coughs> true and and righteous are his judgments. Damn. For he hath judged the great whore which did did cor corrupt the the earth with her fornication and have and have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand and and again they they said hallelujah and her smoke rose up forever and ever can you hold that read that last verse again but, but read that uh, revelation 13 and 9 uh, Revelation 13 and 9, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right, this is a promise. Go ahead. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right, this is the patience and the uh, faith of the saints. Because this, we, we, we believe that it's not going to be a man that's going to deliver us out of this captivity. We believe Yahweh Shai. We say, I will not meet thee as a man is going to deliver us out of this captivity. Can you read that last verse again? Uh, he, um, Revelation 12 and, and 2. He and and have avenged the blood of of his servants at her hand. Right, that's the patience right there that, that we uh, patiently waiting for. And and again, they said, Hallelujah! And her smoke, uh, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down in worship. Worship the Most High that sat on the throne saying, uh, so be true, Hall hallelujah. Skip to verse, uh, hallelujah. Praise. 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 Hallelujah is all praise, right? Uh, hallelujah is uh, praise to praise to you. Praise to you. Praise to you. How I'll start with verse, go to verse 7. Go to verse 7? Yeah. Where did you leave? Allah, you uh, uh, yeah. Verse. Yeah. Verse 7. Allah, you Okay, yeah, verse 7. Okay. Uh, uh, Revelation 19 and 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And Right, basically we're we're espoused, you know. So it's it's all about you know just letting this thing play out. You got a situation with Turkey happening. You got a beautiful man. It's beautiful. We're living a beautiful historical time right now. So it's all about being patient and holding on. Yeah. But you got something else in between that? No, no, no. You want me to just continue? With yeah. This? I got a few more questions on that, anyways. And to her was, and to her was was grant, granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clothed uh, clean and white for the for the vine for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints and he, and ye have said unto me right blessed are they which are which are called unto the marriage the, unto the marriage supper of the lamb and he said unto me these are the true sayings of Yahweh. Right, blessed are those that are called to the marriage because there's plenty. Uh, can you, I think it's uh, too far. I think uh, Matthew 28. I want to say uh, verse, the early verse, where it's talking about you know uh, those keeping uh, wedding garments. Because you know a lot of people are called to the marriage. I have to go for it at the same time. Because a lot of people are called for the marriage, but not everybody's going to you know partake. Some are going to have have excuses. Uh, it's, we need, we need, uh, people saying, I know it's like he's not to make it. Because <laughs> 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 many are called, but few are, few are chosen. <laughs> <laughs> the scripture says, Blessed is he that keep him guarded. You know, and watch you. Know. <laughs> 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 okay, it's 22. It's like, yeah, I'll start with verse. Start with verse 1, take it to about verse 20. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, this is uh, Matthew uh, 22 and 1. It says, And Yahweh answered and, and spake unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like 
unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants saying, tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready to are ready come unto the marriage. Right, so the, the wedding's being, be, you know, all laid out right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, so you, all, all we basically got to do is just, just keep, like, uh, keep enduring, keep the name, you know, make sure you hold on to that name, you know, and keep enduring. Uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, hey, uh, hey, and, um, and, and uh, stay tight with the, with the, with the bride, <laughs> I mean, with the, with the bridegroom. Cause you don't want to get on the bad side of the uh, the bridegroom, and you and you and he revoked that wedding invitation. Right. <laughs> you were you were for, you you were RSVP, but now you you can't even get in. You can't even slip in through the kitchen. Uh, this is Exodus 20 and 20, and and Masha or Moses said unto the unto the people, Fear not, for the for the Most High is come to prove you. And that your fear may be before before your face that ye sin sin not. And the word prove is is na, nakah or na, yeah nakah to to test, try, prove, tempt, uh, as say put to to proof or test. So this is that just like when we are in the wilderness, the Lord uh, set up put us there to prove us and test you. Cause when you have a servant, you want to make sure you got a you got a good servant, man. You got to prove him and test him. And it also gives you strength and character to know yeah. that you were able to endure through that. Can you get uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 of that, and then after that you can uh, pick up with that. You, you stay right there. Cause cause once once you've been through, like I can tell, every one of these I came up here to have been through some shit and stuff that uh, another brother hasn't been through. You know, so all this gets, helps us, you know, to be able to endure even that much more, give us that much more confidence. Like, damn, if I can go through this, I know for a fact this ain't shit. <laughs> you said uh, 10. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. 1 Corinthians 10 and, th and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as as is common to men. So we all, we all catching hell, man. We all going through shit. But, but the the Most High Yahweh by Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Right. So you don't got to worry about man. What if the Most High, you know, is, uh, puts me, you know, hangs me upside down or inside water, and 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 uh, he's testing me that, and uh, he uh, Satan is saying, hey, uh, denounce the name, bro. Like, do I have the strength to? The Most High is not going to put you in a situation where you can't, you know, where. Uh, where you can't overcome it. So everything that you've been through, that's a testimony that you can get through it. You know, so that's a, a matter of, you know, whether you can gird up your loins. You know, Job, for a fact, you know, the most high, you know, right, he went through hell. You know, so, and Yahweh Shai, matter of fact, he went through the most hell. So, and the service is not greater than his master, so what makes us think that we're not going to go through the same type of hell as him? Because, because the Lord's not going to tempt you unless you're not of the light. The Lord's not going to give you something that you can't handle. So if the Lord gives you something, look, the Lord is thinking, all right, you can handle this. You ain't going to bitch up. You can you can, you can, can fight through this, man. If the Lord put you in a guillotine, he thinks you can handle that, man. He he, he has the confidence in you that you can do it. Now, you just got to have the confidence in Yahweh Shai that you can do it, man. You got you to gotta have that faith. Well, Yahweh Shai died on a tree for us. How many Israelites can go through that? I know personally, I don't have the strength to do that. I know for a fact, I, I can't, as much as I love my brother, I know for a fact, if you, if Mosai told me, you know, I want you to die for all of Israel, I don't, I, I don't have the strength to do that. You know, there's only one person that could have did that, and that's Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's why Paul, uh, that was why Peter said he crucified him upside down because they're gonna crucify him. But he said do it upside down because yeah. because I'm not I'm I, I, I'm not worthy to, to, to die like the Lord, man. Hey, remember what Peter said? P Peter said that no, no, Lord, you know, uh, uh, that basically he tried to rebuke the Lord and say that he wasn't gonna die the way that he was gonna die. Yeah, man. Then when it came down to it, and, and the, you know, he tried to say that Lord, I'm I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die with you. I'm gonna go to the grave with you. But the Lord said, hey, before, before the uh, cock crowed three times, you know, you should. I mean, before the cock crowed, you should deny me three times. Nice. 
you know so so yeah of course peter would feel you know i'm not i'm not worthy to die the same death that he's that he that he died right why would you well, you know, you said all that. And, and you, you know, we're, we're wicked, man. Even the, the Bible says that our righteousness is filthy rags. You know, hey, it was set, it was set up for him to, to die and to go through all of the things that he went through uh, uh, to fulfill prophecy. Our, our, de our deaths won't, won't, won't uh, our, our deaths won't benefit Israel the way that his did. It pleased the Most High when we died for His sake, but our deaths won't. Even if, even if 